Welcome to Just Sporting, Season 7, Episode 12. Uh, on this episode today, uh, we're going to just be doing a quick little NBA Finals uh, prediction and preview. Now, for those that's been following, as I see, I predicted the NBA Finals right. I'll have my team pull it up. In my opinion, the Mass and Knicks won the trade deadline. Okay, first of all, let me start off with this. You do not give Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic help in the front court. That's the worst thing you can do um, for opposing teams. And that's exactly what they did. Listen, Luka and Kyrie are going to be the two best players in any backcourt in any series when the playoffs come around. Take it that they can hold on and make the playoffs. You got the you got to think you got the two best players. That, listen, Luca and Kyrie's the two best players in any backcourt. They got the best backcourt in any series. Then you give them help in the front court. That Daniel and PJ um, signings, not signings, trades was was huge. They was huge because you got to understand what you just you got to understand as a guard like Luca and Kyrie are they not gonna always. Like I said, they're not going to always be on point, okay, in the sense of they're not, they're not going to always make every shot. But you got some guys that sit there and clean up their messes. Oh, so now in the back of my mind, I don't have to be on every point for every shot. Oh, I'm gunning away. I'm gunning away. So for those that don't understand what I'm saying, Luka and Kyrie is going to already shoot their shot regardless. But now they know that, hey, if I miss a shot, y'all got our back. We got some eaters down there. Pause. We got some killers down there. Oh, it's, it's go time. So, you do not give Kyrie and Luka help in the front court. That's the worst thing the NBA had, could have happened. And I'm telling you now, don't sleep on Dallas. Make a long, deep run. Pause. Don't sleep on them. Because you gave Luka and Kyrie help in the front court. That's scary for any team. Because Kyrie and Luka are going to be the best two players in any matchup, in any series. And they sat here and just got help with the P.J. and uh, Daniel signings. The trades, per se. Man, look, it's gonna get it's gonna get dangerous. Far now, I only predicted that to be the NBA Finals because it was real simple to me. You know, everybody like to say, uh, Julie, you know, Julie, just this uh brilliant mind, this uh gold mind. You can see things before it happened. My now, may that some be true? A lot of it do be true, but I won't let a lot of people know. No, I'm not perfect. And I've been being more wrong in life than I've been being right. And that's the reason why I'm so right in life now, because of my wrongs. That made me right. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, we're going to put that on the shirt. Now, nah, but all the, nah, on some real, real spill shit, all jokes aside. Um, now, nah, I only picked this to be the NBA Finals just for the simple fact, because to me, the Celtics was the best team out East. And I feel like the only team that could have beat them out East was the Bucks. Now, but I bet it on the Celtics, you know, being the Bucks. You know what I'm saying? Now, for the out West, it was real simple to me. I picked... The uh, Clippers, you know, in my other bracket to come to the finals. But then I also know, though, too, injuries always strike the Clippers, which I also predicted that. So I said the only team that would beat the Clippers is the Mavericks, and that's why the Mavericks are in the finals. So the reason why I predicted the NBA finals would be the NBA finals is simply because the two best teams out west was Dallas and the Clippers. But it just so happened to be that they faced each other first round. So I always feel like whoever made out that round was going to make it to the finals, and I ended up being right. Uh, so with that being said, um, yeah, I have the uh, Celtics being the Mavericks, as y'all see. But the fan in me, y'all know I'm a big Kyrie Irving fan. Big Kyrie Irving fan. Huge Kyrie Irving fan. So i like to see him get another one because I, I know the narratives. If he doesn't get this one, they're going to be like, he can't win without LeBron. And that's not really what it is or that's not going to be the case. But I have the Celtics winning. I think they're going to win in five. Now, the Celtics are going to win in five for the simple fact uh, I think the Celtics are going to win in five, and I got the Celtics winning in five because to me, it's real simple. Um, it's a battle of the duels. Luka ain't going down you know, without a fight. Kyrie ain't going down without a fight. But I feel like Jason Tatum and Jason Brown, there's no answer for them, too. Now, on this, on their best nights, and this is what I feel like, I feel like you know, there's two stars on each team. You know, really, I don't like how people sleeping on Drew Holidays of the world and things like that. And even Pozingas. You know, I feel like he, them two are going to be the X Factors of this series. But to me, this it goes two and two. And we're going to the two, Lucas and Kyrie's and Jalen Browns and Taylor to say both show up all games. I just trust the Celtics others 
more than the Dallas others. So yes, if I have to repeat myself, I have that Dallas and Celtics series. I predicted that as y'all seen, but I have the Celtics being the Dallas Mavericks in five at six at most, even though I want to see game seven. I have Celtics winning in five. And if we got the battle of the two stars, I think everybody shows up, but I think the only difference is the fact that uh, the others of the Celtics are better than the others of the Mavericks. I think that's going to be the difference maker. And not only that, I also think, though, too, be, hey, you know how I'm in my predictions, and I'm always right with my predictions, especially as of late. You know, I think we're going to see the best Jason Taylor we have seen. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, is Taylor going to show Taylor show? I think Brown winning that Eastern Conference a uh, finals award is gonna wake Tatum up. And it's gonna be like, okay, I can't have no off games or slack games if I wanna get this finals MVP. So it's gonna put another five under him to get that finals MVP. I think we're gonna see the best Jason Tatum we may have ever seen. I think everybody gonna show up, but I think I'm gonna give the Celtics others more leeway than the Dallas others. And of course, really, it's because I already picked the Celtics and I can't go wrong. And I got money and brackets and rings online in our brand. So I can't go against the Celtics now. Even though I would love to see Kyrie get his one, and I want mine. Luka get his one. But give me Celtics. Drew.